So who would win of the week this week is the Cosmic Brownie versus the Oatmeal Cream Pie. Let me ask you this, man. Which side are you on here? That's what I got to know. Because I am on the side. Because I'll tell you straight up, I'm on the side talking, of Cosmic Brownie. All right. Before we start the fight, just so we get all biases out of the way, you have a full box <coughs> of oatmeal cream pies and a full box of Cosmic Brownies. You're jonesing for a snack. Which one are you picking? Cosmic Brownie. I hate the oatmeal cream pies. I actually don't like them at all very much. Really? Yeah, I think they're gross. But that's not affecting my opinion in this fight. See... I I love them both. Dude, I haven't had a Cosmic Brownie in a while. My problem with the Cosmic Brownie is sometimes... No, not pro. I love Cosmic Brownies. I'll say, I love them both, mm-hmm. just to clarify. To me, there there's an inconsistency occasionally with Cosmic Brownies. Like, sometimes you get a Cosmic Brownie that's, like, perfectly fudgy and, and doughy and... Dude, this fucker's a menace. Yeah, that bug's been menace. going off today. All day that I've been this here. Is our, this is our uh, uh, Breaking Bad Fly episode. We don't have any fruit in here. I don't know why it's... <laughs> <laughs> Besides me. Um, <sighs> inconsistency. Sometimes you get the perfectly fudgy, like... I hate to use it because I know people hate it, but moist... Like, a Cosmic Brownie should be fudgy and moist and, like, delicious. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, and it could be same box even, you'll get a Cosmic Brownie that's a little, like, denser, drier, not quite as fudgy and moist. I've never had that experience. Yeah. Do you think that you're just blinded by the deliciousness of all Cosmic Brownies and you you don't have the palate to notice the difference okay this is supposed to be a who would win between these two little snack cakes this is not supposed to be an attack on me you so not, you don't think there's take an inconsistency back maybe i, I haven't no. had them in a while if, if i were to say there was any inconsistency in the cosmic brownie it would be about the chocolate the chip placement yeah, the, yeah. The chocolate chip sprinkles yeah yeah i don't know i do love cosmic brownies but i am a huge fan of oatmeal cream pies like i love them I love them. They sell the jumbo ones too, but we're talking regular snack pack. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'll say. The reason that I... The thing I love about oatmeal cream pies is the cookie consistency is always the same. It is always like a super soft... Sometimes, you know, you get differences in filling or whatever, more or less, whatever... The cookie itself, to me, is always like just this soft, gooey, like not gooey, but like good cookie. I, I'd have to, I'd have to eat more cosmic brown. I haven't had a cosmic brownie in a long time. I haven't had oatmeal cream pie in a long time either. But here's the problem with that, and I'll tee you up, I guess, for your side of the argument. The cosmic brownie is dense and compact. Underneath that layer of of frosting, y fudgy, whatever that is, it's dense and compact. Like, if you were to take a cosmic brownie and like put like squish it up into like a perfect sphere, Holy like shit. you could kill somebody with it if you threw it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you were to squish up an oatmeal cream pie, it would get pretty dense too. But in its natural state, the way that its molecules are composed together. Thanks for bringing up the molecules. If you, like, hold an oatmeal cream pie wrong out of the <laughs> package, it just breaks in half. It's yeah. done. Like, you have to have full support. You have to pizza tip an oatmeal cream pie to keep it together. Whereas a cosmic brownie, like, that thing... You could you could put that as the foundation of your home. Dude, like, let's say, let's say you're brown paper bagging it, right? Let's say, close your eyes, third grade, you're brown paper bagging it. Ham sandwich, maybe a box of pretzels, Mm -hmm. a cosmic brownie, and maybe some kind of beverage, okay? We never were really big beverage people for lunch, but theoretically, let's say you had something heavy in there. Or a book, book, boom, lands on top of your brown paper bag. The way that a cosmic brownie will, like, conform to a surface, like, it's, it's a malleable... But it stays together. Yeah. Like if you, again, oatmeal cream pie, it will be malleable when the book is on it. 
and then when you take it out of the wrapper, it just falls apart. Yeah. The cream by the cream pie, dude. Please continue. I didn't mean to cut you off if you were no. still going. This is going to be a thought for another day. But like, if one of us ever either wins the lottery mm-hmm. or becomes a billionaire, we should make a YouTube video where we build a house out of nothing but cosmic brownies and see how long we can live in it awesome that's wow that works on so many levels yeah i love it and i love that brownies do we own that idea now that'll be a mr beast video in like six if he does it can we sue probably not well try i mean we could sue anybody for any reason that's stolen uh valor Valor. (laughs) it's cosmic brownie Valor. all right let's hear it what are your thoughts look man the thing that was Obviously, the thing that's tough about this battle for me is I don't know if anything could beat the Cosmic Brownie in, in the snack food realm. The Cosmic Brownie, to me, is like the infinity gauntlet of snack cakes. If you, I mean, think about the Ho-Ho, the Swiss Roll, the Zebra Cake, the Snowball, uh, all of them. Any Little Debbie deal. I can't see any of them taking on the Cosmic Brownie and winning that fight. Can I say one thing? Yeah. I made fart noise when you said zebra cake. I was premature. I meant it for snowball. I okay. Got no, I got no qualms with zebra cakes. Snowballs are for fucking weirdos. That's 100% I've never true. had one. I never will. No. I've never I've never seen someone eat ever one Ever since I watched Zombieland for the first time, I determined that nobody in the world should ever eat a snowball. If you eat snowballs, you are a pedophile. Dude. I literally think that's why they put them on shelves. To let pe- if you buy one, it's like okay, <laughs> that's a creep. Keep your kids away from him. I- I'm dead serious about that. Are we locking in Cosmic Brownie? I it has to be Cosmic Brownie, man. No, I don't. I don't think that there's a force on Earth again because of the denseness of the Cosmic Brownie. With the Cosmic Brownie, all things are possible. Cosmic Brownie, clean sweep. I do love an oatmeal cream pie, but but it in terms of the fight, yeah, molecules. That's all you got to say. It all comes down to molecules. Vote on that on Instagram on Friday. Who would win of the week? <laughs>